This week's parsha, Parsha's Tetzave, discusses the idea of rechitza, that a Kohen has to do a wash before he does avoda. In this week's parsha, we also talk about rechitza. Now, there's a very interesting Rashba in Meseches Chulam that asks, how do we know that when you do Natilas Yadayim, you got to use a kli, a vessel? And the Rashba says, because when you see in the base of Mikdash how they did rechitza, they did it with the kiar, so that's a kli. So too, when a person does Natilas Yadayim for a meal, you have to use a kli. So that's very interesting, because after all, what's the connection? The coin in the base of Mikdash is doing avoda in the base of Mikdash. When a person sits down in a meal, what's he doing? And I believe the answer is, the lesson the Rashba teaches, is that every single Jew, when he sits down at his table, when he does something in his house, isn't just doing anything. He's doing avoda Sashem. Like a Kohen in the base of Mikdash, like a priest in the holiest place in the world, when a person does something in his home, he should realize that he's in the base of Mikdash and he's doing avoda Sashem. And he has to have that same mindset and that Kedusha and Tahara. Have a wonderful Shabbos.